Have you ever been to Liechtenstein? We would like to invite you to a talk. It is a very small country between the eastern bank of Rhine and the mountains, and bordering only with Austria and Switzerland. We entered Liechtenstein from Austria, and after an hour and a half, we left in the direction of Switzerland. Crossing the border was very simple. No one paid attention to a car with Ukrainian registration. And here we are in Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein is one of the smallest countries in Europe. Only three countries are even smaller than Liechtenstein, both in size and population. These are Vatican, San Marino and Monaco. Soon after crossing the border, as in an indecent country, we are warned about the rules of behavior on the roads. Here are speed limits inside and outside the inhabited settlements, but speed limits on the highways are indicated only for Switzerland, since there are simply no such roads in Liechtenstein. We move further into the country, which is full of nice houses with story like appearance. Yeah, here's how Liechtenstein promotes seat belts. It seems that there was a driver behind the wheel. And there's the way in another direction. And now we are approaching the city of Nenten. It is known that archaeologists dug up here some leftovers from the Roman Empire. Liechtenstein is not a part of the European Union, but is a part of the Schengen Zone. <laughs> and mountains are all around. On the left, those in Liechtenstein and the right ones in Switzerland, on the west bank of the Rhine. Please note, it is rather hot below, air conditioning works quite intensely in the car, and we see snow on the mountains. This shows how high the mountains are. The highest point of Liechtenstein, Hienzau mountain, has an altitude of 2599 meters. Despite the area of only 160 square kilometers and a population of only 35,000 people, Liechtenstein is an economic engine and one of the most developed countries in the world. However, you will never get to know about it by looking at its forested mountain slopes and alpine mountain meadows. The city of Xi'an, Hus the headquarters of the international corporation Hiliti, whose employers work in 120 countries. The projects of this corporation include the Ersund Bridge between Denmark and Sweden across the Baltic Sea. The corporation manufactures tools and equipment for construction and other purposes, for which it gives a lifetime warranty. The most notable attraction in Xi'an, visible from afar, is the Roman Catholic Church. But on Google Maps, its name is for some reason written in Spanish. The Catholic Church of St. Lawrence was built in 1893. It has a height of 81 meters, 6 bells, an organ, and looks like a beautiful new church. But the Church of St. Lawrence in Xi'an existed for many years, and only a single old tower remained, which now serves as a chapel for the cemetery. The construction of a new church was financed by the Prince Liechtenstein Jordan II, for which he even sold some of his property, and ultimately such a beautiful church was built. And construction in Liechtenstein continues full steam ahead, mainly due to people being eager to work. There is no army in Liechtenstein since 1862. People work and don't waste their time in military service. But at the same time, there is still insufficient manpower. And, therefore, 12,000 people come to work every day from Austria, Germany and Switzerland. In several places near the traffic lights, we were able to see the car registration plates. 
Liechtenstein, they are very different from the neighboring countries of the European Union. There is no circle of stars, but there are two letters F L. Fürstellung Liechtenstein. Vaduz Castle has a rather vast history. It was built in the 12th century and in 1499 it was burnt down and almost destroyed by the troops of the Swiss Confederation. But it was gradually restored. When the princes of Liechtenstein finally arrived in the country, they began to actively accommodate in the castle. Now it is the residence of the princess, where tourists and other public are not allowed. And the princess enjoy observing the country from the high hill where the castle is situated. The Cathedral of St. Florin was built in 1873, but it received the status of a cathedral more than 100 years later, in 1993. The fact is that the Catholics of Liechtenstein formed so-called descendant as part of the diocese, located in Switzerland. And only the struggle for the national church led to, to the fact that this church became a cathedral. In 2002, Pope John Paul II established the Archdiocese of Liechtenstein an independent religious organization within the Catholic Church. And here we see two buildings. One looks old enough and the other is ultramodern. The building on the right is the government of Liechtenstein. Parliament was located in the same building. But gradually it became overcrowded and therefore in 2007 a new modern building of Vantag the parliament was built. It has 25 debuts from 5 parties. So the democracy is definitely present. The name Liechtenstein is not historical for this country. This is the name of the owners of this land. The princess of Liechtenstein. They were rich enough but wanted to become members of parliament, the Reichstag of Austria. It turned out that for this they had to own some lands for which the emperor would be a legion. They were looking for something relatively cheap to buy and brought two small fiefdoms called Schellenberg and Padre. And, later on, it was recognized that the, this land is called Liechtenstein in honor of the owners of this principality. Interestingly, the state of Liechtenstein has existed since 1719, but uh, for the first 100 years of history, the princes of Liechtenstein, the owners of this principality, did not set foot on this territory but, but reformed, preferred to live and rule the country from Austria. But when the princes finally saw the country, they liked it a lot. As a result, Prince Franz Joseph, who had ruled the country for, me for more than 50 years since 1938, did not leave the country. And thanks to this prince, Liechtenstein was able to maintain complete neutrality during the Second World War. An outstanding example was that when Russian units from among the former white guards who fought on the side of the Germans came to the territory of Liechtenstein, they were not given up. The level of development of Liechtenstein can be judged based on the fact that this country ranks the first in the world of the use of solar energy per capita. In the city of Dresden, which is one of the five largest municipalities of Liechtenstein, a small adventure awaits us. Everywhere in Liechtenstein, roads are being repaired and reconstructed. Without noticing the red signal or the traffic light, started passing through a limited section of the head to go. 
Everyone's worker this time noticed that the car came from Ukraine. And now we are moving to the extreme south of Liechtenstein, where Mads promised us another attraction. Castle Gutenberg was built in the 12th century. For some time, it was a frontier castle of the Holy Roman Empire on the border with Switzerland. But gradually, the military role was lost. The castle burned several times. After a big fire in the city of Gladnitz in 1795, the castle ruins were gradually dismantled for building materials. The castle passed from hand to hand, and in 1905 it was brought by architect Egan Rindberg, who restored it within seven years. The modern look of this castle was created in 1912. After the death of the architect, the castle became state of property on the Principality of Liechtenstein. Nowadays, excursions are organized in the castle. Castle is used for tourist visits at various events. Almost simultaneously with the reconstruction of the Castle Gutenberg, in the construction of the Church of St. Nicholas was started. In Blasnitz, the Church of St. Nicholas has existed since the 12th century. But like other buildings, it suffered from fire. Indeed, it was decided to build a new church of St. Nicholas 600 meters away from the old one, for which the Venice architect Gustav von Neumann was involved. However, the church of St. Nicholas has another name, the church of the anniversary of Prince Johann II. Johann II was a unique prince. He ruled the country for over 70 years. Nicholas II financially supported the construction of the Church of St. Nicholas, and the mosaic says that the church is dedicated to the 50th anniversary of the role of Prince Johann II. Now Liechtenstein is ruled by Prince Hans Adam. He has four children. Interestingly, his third son's name is Constantine, and his only daughter's name is Tatiana. And you can now see how Tatiana is rooting for the Liechtenstein team! Woot woot! And this is Prince Konstantin, who is the chief executive officer of the Prince Liechtenstein Foundation, a family business that operates in all continents of the world. We saw the castle of Gutenberg again found the uh, bend of the road. But this time it flashed very quickly on the right side of the school. The signal that our trip in Liechtenstein is coming to an end was given from above. Clouds in the sky thickened, began to swirl over the mountains, and grew darker. And we realized that a rain shower is going to start. And now we are crossing the Rhine via the bridge at the border between Liechtenstein and Switzerland. As you can see, there is no control and it has been the situation since 1923. And this is how we successfully crossed the Great European River Rhine. And we are already in Switzerland. But still it's again! <laughs> and from the Swiss highway we can observe about half of Liechtenstein. But Switzerland happened to be a very rainy country, and therefore we decided to go further to Austria. Here we'll see links for our videos from Austria and other countries. Subscribe to our channel with likes, and in the comments we expect to see your suggestions regarding the countries and cities from which you would like to see our reports.